<laughs> Whew, that was a good ride. <coughs> I got in my 10 miles. Uh, that was my quota for today. And it is just so gorgeous outside that I'm going to take the camera and go back out. <sighs> Bike served me well. Uh, good, well oiled machine. And that Sturmiatra 8 speed on the back with a disc brake is one of the best investments I ever made. Oh, look at it out here. Everything is in bloom. All the flowers, the trees are all leaved out. Uh, it's warm, low humidity. Uh, what more could you ask for? It's an absolutely uh, summer wonderland. Now look at the lupin over there. Get the leg down on the tripod. Yeah, look at the lupin. A lupin everywhere. And the irises are out. Ah. So, I've uh, got my 10 miles in. And Sue and Beth are in making a pizza. Life is good. Uh, it's warm. The wind, it's a little bit breezy right now, but it's getting calmer by the minute. So, probably a little later in the day, I'm going to be flying my helicopter. That's going to be hard to take. But I've got a stove in here that I built that I'm going to put on the website in the used gear section uh, once I post this video. So let's go in and look at that. This is a stove that I tested out this morning. It's uh, an old prototype that was kicking around here. I found it in a box when I was going through stuff for yard sale. And it's basically an M2SB uh, in a gerbil cage modified gerbil cage. Uh, good working little stove. I checked it out, let it run for about 20 minutes, and the base wasn't even hot. I've got a piece of carbon felt underneath it to protect the uh, base from the heat of the cage. And I've got a screw uh, holding the M2SB in, and this SB has a special tower inside to tolerate the screw. So I'm going to put that on the website when I get done here. Just a bare stove, no accessories or anything. Uh, cool beans. Now I don't think that anybody else is doing uh, this, uh, doing videos showing how they build their product, uh, building from uh, solid aluminum and from soda cans, uh, and then making prototypes and then selling the prototypes on the website as they build them. I don't think anybody else is doing that. In fact, uh, other than the soda can stove, uh, most people aren't even building their own stoves that are simply having them CNC'd out. So uh, there are no prototypes to sell on the uh, website. Uh, that's the unique part of mini bowl design. I'd like to think that I'm putting out a unique product with the stoves and with the videos. Uh, that's, that's my uh, intent is to uh, make this a unique experience for my viewers and for my customers. Uh, just speaking of customers, the other day Beth was going over Every time somebody uh, foreign, new, orders from us, we capture their address, name and address, and put it in a special file for future reference. And she was going through the file for foreign. This is all just international orders. Uh, we put one in there yesterday from Israel. But anyway, she was going through it, and we counted them up. And there was a little over uh, 400 international uh, addresses from international customers. So I have a, a recorded 400 international customers and I thought that was kind of cool. And I'm telling you they're from everywhere. I don't think there's any place in the world where I haven't sold stoves. And that in itself is cool and unique. So I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, Try to enjoy your backpacking gear and the whole backpacking experience and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye. Good stuff.